pass down their performance. And then they were picked to perform at Disney World uh, right after we went to New Orleans. Uh, I believe those folks in that group have something they'd like to say at this time. So I'd ask them to come forward. Last year, at about this time, the March Trombone Association came into being. Then about a month ago, on April 13th, we accomplished our goal, I guess you would say. We performed on the Odyssey stage at Epcot Center. We accomplished our goal with the help of many people, one man in particular, whom we all respect and admire greatly. This man invited us into his home and worked with us in, in preparing for our performance. And we'd just like to express our appreciation to him with, with this gift. Mr. Tanner. Thank you. <laughs> Should you open it here? Yeah. Or are you spray it to you? That's rattling. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we would like to mention uh, another extremely large group, and, and that's why we have to be patient at the Morrow High School Band Awards Banquet. Um, it's argument, argumentable is that a word? As, to, as to, in any place, as to what's best or what's better. Um, some people think that this band is better or that band is better. But I've got to tell you, there are no more bands that I know of anywhere where the individual students have received more recognition than the Morrow High School Band. I mean that sincerely. I know an awful lot about what goes on in the country band-wise. And we're fortunate to stick in our bands this year. We had the following. Jason Allen, Brent Archer. This is a result of competitive auditions, by the way. Alan Barber, who was first chair. Paige Bell. Craig Biffle, who was first chair. Julie Blackwell, Charlotte Bland, and Dee Dee Bland, who were both first chairs. Christy Branch, Michael Brown, who was first chair. Malia Caldwell, Marsha Camp, Leanne Champion, Charlie Clinkenbeer, Wendy Clinkenbeer, Kim Callan, who was first chair, Kevin Delaney, Heather Ford, Shannon Ford, Shay Henderson, April Higgins, Amanda Hodges, Sean Kelly, who was first chair, Amanda Keeney, Jennifer Lumpkin, who was first chair, Matt McCoy, Jennifer McGee, who was first chair, Joe McNally, Steve McWilliams, who was first chair, Clint Parker, Amy Stanfield, Lori Tanner, who was first chair, Dana Tillerson, Barney Trader, Ned Welch, who was first chair, Claire Wells, Meredith Wickham, William Zervogel. Five others who are absent tonight will be added to this group, and we haven't called out our seniors yet. I think that's an incredible representative. <laughs> Christy Thompson, Kathy Ricks, Lloyd Tanner, Wendy Clinkenbeard, Lori Tanner, Alan Barber, Meredith Wickham, Kristen Phillips, Shannon Ford, Clint Parker, Charlotte Clinkenbeard, Heather Porter. Sherry Jackson, Michael Sanders, Russell Long, Shannon Howell, Jason Allen, April Higgins, Jamie Richardson, and Mandy King. Did I miss anybody in that group? Brent Archer. Brent Archer.
Man, I'm sorry, I don't see your name on this too. Okay, let's applaud these folks. students out of all of y'all straight wind, percussion, and strength players to go to uh, Daytona Beach for that week and uh, a great experience for her. This year we had a student who was selected to receive a full scholarship valued at about $2,500 to attend uh, the Bard Music Center camp for six weeks this summer with all expenses paid. And they made that first attention to Allstate, and I don't think anything at Allstate's ever bothered me as much as that did. Uh, the people stood up and made a commercial announcement about the bar and said, by the way, Craig Biffle from Moore High School wins the award. And so tonight, you're going to find out how he won the award. Uh, that selection was made based on two things. They looked at the people whose scores were the highest on the final audition at Allstate. And, uh, they had, I think, a couple of students with the same score. Then they looked at the history of all state participation by those students, and at that point, there was no doubt, according to the committee that did the selection, that Craig Biffle was going to win the award. And I'd like to ask Craig to please stand and let's recognize the committee.